What's going on everybody, Gem Mint here, and today we're going to take a look at the Invincible Hardcover Compendium Volume 1. I picked this up from organicpricebooks.com. Make sure to use code GEMMINT if you ever pick something up from them. You can save $2 off of every order. This isn't going to be a review of the entire story. I actually read and reviewed this some years back on the channel. I got into Invincible via the hardcover collected editions, and they have two different formats. They have the oversized hardcovers in 12 volumes, which collects the entire run, and then they have the library editions, which unfortunately only went up to volume three, and I'm pretty sure each library edition contained two oversized hardcovers, so either way, it didn't complete the entire series. So now here we have this hardcover compendium. Now the thing about this that I don't really like is that it's a little bit smaller than a typical Marvel or DC omnibus. It's actually more comparable to one of the Dark Horse Deluxe editions for Berserk or Blade of the Immortal or Helsing. So that was a little bit of a turnoff. I would have liked it to have been more of the omnibus format, but nevertheless, we have the hardcover compendium here. Now, I have heard a rumor that they're going to be reprinting those library editions and continuing it with a volume four. And if that's the case, I'll probably jump back on that format. That's more like a DC absolute style format with the hardcover slipcase, same trim size and all of that. But it's a great series. I did that review. Like I mentioned, let's do an overview of the compendium and see what this looks like. All right, guys, here we have the cover. Robert Kirkman, Corey Walker and Ryan Otley with Ryan Otley art. Here goes the spine, big invincible logo, digging the whole spine trim. And then we have the back. So collecting issues zero through 47. It's got a $100 cover price. Wow, it's been 20 years already. Let's get into Invincible. I was fortunate enough to jump into this before the animated series. It was actually a big deal on the channel. Getting into Invincible was like what it was like when we got into Berserk, right? So it was one of those things that was big on the channel, big in our Facebook group. Here we have the cover page. We have the credits. Jumps right into issue one. We have Mark as Invincible. Now, this story plays out very slow in the beginning. It kind of feels like a Peter Parker with Superman powers. He knows he's going to inherit the powers of his father, Omni-Man. And uh, it goes off the rails after about issue 40 or so. So it looks like towards the end of this compendium, it really takes off and the universe expands so much. Digging the art style, it lends very well to animation, which is why that Amazon Prime series did so good. You have Mark dealing with teenage troubles, which is like that Peter Parker archetype, but he goes out and flies into space. He learns about his heritage, and then he learns about his true origins and the reason why him and his father are placed on Earth. But I'm not going to get into that. I mean, I know that this is an old series, 20 years, and they have the animated series, but I don't want to spoil for anybody watching this for the first time. Great character development here. Man, Adam, Eve, the, the character development is reminiscent of manga to me. I've always compared this to Dragon Ball Z, how you grow up with the characters and you have this big expanding universe and the way things come full circle and characters that you thought were insignificant in the beginning play such a huge role later on. It looks like they give you virgin covers going into the issues. Highly recommend this. As far as the compendium format, let's see what type of bonus materials, if any, in the back. So now it looks like you're basically just getting the issues and that's it. Biography on the creative team, taking a look at the spine here. You do have a nice eye that opens up, which is what we'll call that here in the middle underneath that ribbon. So it allows for those pages to really spread to avoid gutter loss. Nice, well-constructed book. All right, everyone, it's time for the April Dash Spider-Man Booth subscription box. You get over $100 in retail value. That's five comic books, store exclusives, and ratio variants. You get access to monthly giveaways, membership-only store, and, of course, two exclusive covers limited to this box. You'll receive a copy of The Exiled, number one, which is the new Wesley Snipes book on what not publishing. This one pays homage to Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. There are only 300 trade dress in existence, 200 
Virgins, 200 foils, and 100 medals. The second one is Ninja Funk issue 4 with this beautiful Akira homage, 200 regular editions, 100 foils, and 50 medals. Swing on over to that SpidermanBooth.com and sign up for the subscription box today. All right, guys, there we have it, the Invincible Hardcover Compendium Volume 1. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you going to pick this up in this format, or are you going to hold off for those library editions? Sound off. Thanks for watching, and stay minty fresh. Peace.